Hi, Mark Gilbert here, and in this video, I want to share with you some thoughts as to why I even make these videos. I get asked this question from time to time. I mean, it's a lot of effort and work going into producing these things and putting them out on the Internet, and I don't charge any money or anything like that. So it's simply a, uh, a gift of love in order to do this. And so people have asked me, why do you do this? So what I'd like to do is share a few thoughts relative to what my intentions are and why I see these videos as important. And it really relates to my understanding of life, what I've come to believe about life, and uh, where we're all uh, going, both individually and collectively. Initially, when I was looking at my own life, one of the things I discovered was that one of the gifts that I had, one of the true talents that have been with me throughout my entire life, is the ability to teach, to take complex concepts and to put them into a simpler form, to present them in a way that people understand them uh, in a better way. I've done this for many, many years, and uh, in the last number of years, I've said, well, you know, one of the things I probably ought to do is take the, the gift of teaching and meld it with what I've come to believe about life. And how I see that is really important. Let's look at that for just a minute. I see that the entire universe is embedded with consciousness and that in fact each individual human is what I often term a pocket of consciousness. It's where consciousness has collected up to a sort of a higher and more dense level. If we look back at the evolution of the material uh, universe, what I ha believe is that everything in the universe is embedded with certain characteristics. I like to refer to them as divine characteristics. I know that language may bother some people, but I believe it is divine. But these characteristics include everything in in having consciousness within it, having everything having within it a, um, a desire to create, to express itself, and that everyone and everything has some expression of what is love, what we feel and, and know as love, which is a sense of connectedness and bondedness uh, to other uh, things and other people. And so even to the uh, beginning of the universe and, and every bit of matter, that was created as in as it evolved in the physical realm up through the creation of planets and uh, life on planets and animals, plants, up to humans, there's been this process of deepening of consciousness. And that us humans have crossed an important threshold, a threshold that has several aspects to it. One is that in our awareness, we're aware that we're aware. We know that we know. And in that, we recognize that we have choice. We have choice in how we think and in what we do. And because of that choice, we can future forward uh, affect the direction of evolution, whereas everything previously had a degree of maybe randomness to it. I don't think it was totally random, but that's another story. But there was a sense of non-conscious choice being employed up until humans, when humans crossed an important threshold. And in that, we now are at choice as to what we think and believe and how we, the choices that we make in our lives. In a sense, I also uh, have mentioned this in previous videos, that we are both animals from our past, but we're spiritual beings moving forward, that we have one foot in both realms, that we're affected by both physical, our physical nature and physical needs, but we're also, uh, and, by, and by that I mean things like the lower levels of, of Maslow's hierarchy. Uh, you can think in terms of physiological needs, safety, security needs, love, belonging, needs, uh, self-esteem. These have a degree of, uh, of being based on our animalistic past. But as we look forward into the future, we're drawn upward into higher needs of, of wanting to be all that we can be through self-actualization or to transcend our sense of being human into something greater and grander, and those are pulling us to even beyond the humanness. And so we're one foot is in the human world and animal world and one foot into the spiritual world, and we toggle back and forth between the two. And so I see these videos as being something that acknowledges that fact and moves us towards the spiritual realm, to move us into seeing our lives and, and going to claiming the highest and greatest for our, our individual paths. Therefore, to put it briefly, the purpose of these videos, the purpose of my books and writings and my blog site, in addition to sharing some general thinking that's going on within me, 
I have a desire to see and recognize that every person walking this planet is simply like me. We're these pockets of consciousness with our past, our histories, our dreams for the future, our desires for what we want to be, our feeling our animalistic needs, but are also feeling our spiritual needs, and that we are growing and being in choice. And I see these videos and what I'm trying to teach is to bring that awareness to you so that you can consciously make the right choice, the higher choice, the better choice for what's next for you. What I produce in these videos is information that I simply provide for you without any kind of attachment to you taking it and saying this is truth. I simply offer it as something that hopefully resonates with you, that you can take what works for you and, what, and discard what doesn't. And then from what does work for you, you meld it into your own life so that you can be the highest uh, version of yourself that you can be, that you move yourself further up your own evolutionary path to whatever is the next step that you need to be doing, uh, which includes finding your own purpose and your own passion in life and exhibiting it yourself to claiming it and being it. I know that as the planet and the universe is on this evolutionary arc upward that the overall time frame and the direction is, is, uh, is long and the direction is, is upward. But that I also recognize that in many cases, many of the events and choices that we're doing aren't in an immediate direct upward arc. That oftentimes we're going two steps up and one step back. That it's more like a Wall Street stock chart where things go up and they go down, but they tend to be going up over the long run. And what I'm hoping is that by presenting these videos, they're contributing to the upward arc. That they're allowing you in your pocket of consciousness here in the universe to accept something that is truthful for you, to employ it into your own life, and then you change yourself and your own path a little bit more so. And then as you do that, and as more pockets of consciousness do that with other spiritual teachers and other people who are doing similar things, then more and more people are claiming the greatest path for themselves. And as more people do that, as more pockets of individual pockets of consciousness are moving upward in their evolutionary arc, then what that's doing is moving us collectively up that arc as well and creating a better future and creating a world that works for all and ultimately leading, leading us to where I believe we're all going, which is remembrance of our truth, of our oneness. So that's why I do these videos. I hope you find them useful. I'd love to hear what you think and your feedback is always welcome. Leave a comment, be sure to subscribe, and till next time.